Hi, Blake from footballboost.co.uk and this is our second sort of vlog, sort of weekly video and today we're going to talk about a few things. We received two things in the mail this week. One is a custom pair of football boots which we will unbox at the very end of this video and the second thing is a very sort of special thing from YouTube themselves. Do not open it. Yeah, yeah, I'll try to. So guys, we just hit 150,000 subscribers. Thank you very much for that. Um, there's a little letter in here from YouTube. I won't show you that. Um, it just says, nice one, really. And inside there's something Blake's been waiting for for a long time. So it turned out is the YouTube play button. Now we recently surpassed 150,000 subscribers. So this is for getting past 100,000 subscribers or bring it up close. And it's pretty much a Come check this out, nice little play button. Nice little play button for getting past 100,000 subscribers. We have been putting out a lot of videos recently. Woo! Here it is, Matt. Love it. Lots of hard work. Massive bit of, bit of bling. Bit of bling, yeah, that's it. So there we go. So something else to put on the wall here if you want to. So what's the next one? What's the next target to hit? 500,000 maybe? 500,000, a million. So there we go. But let's do 150. 10 million. A few other things to talk about. It's still the Euros. We're down to the semi-finals. Um, hopefully you guys watched our last vlog and you've ended the competition already. If you haven't, then you still have a chance until kickoff in the first semi-final. Um, let us know who you think is going to win. We'll put the link in the description again. Hit up the website. We've already had like 6,000 entries or something. Um, one of you will be the lucky winner if you predict the final correctly and you get drawn out. Then you'll be the person who wins their own customized pair of boots. Uh, thanks to Level Soccer. We will... Um, yeah, have entries open until kickoff in that game. So, talking about the Euros, guys, who's going to win? Who's going to win the semi finals? First up, what is it? Portugal, Wales? Wales, Wales to go through. Portugal have yeah. been poor. Wales, Wales have been good. Yeah, Wales have got a bit more heart. They've got a bit more heart in their team. It's a bit more of a unity. Well, yeah, yeah. Like Chris Coleman on the sideline. I'm loving mm. it. Yeah, Portugal just scraping through the whole round, you know. That's what it's all about, though, scraping through. I kind of think that Portugal will just do enough again. It's one of those kind of niggly little wins. I don't want them to win, but I just kind of feel like they probably will. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, I definitely got a big chance of getting making the final. There we go, we'll see what Ronaldo versus Bale brings. What do you guys think? Um, you want to see Ronaldo or Bale in the final? What do you think? Bale. Let us know in the comments below. Yeah. So All right, so other semi final is um, what are we? France, Germany? France, yeah. Hosts against the world champions. Yeah, it's a very, very solid final. match. It could have been the final, but it, it hasn't been. So On paper, it probably is the final in terms yeah. of quality. Mm. Yeah. Whoever wins that is going to win the tournament, do we think? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think Germany on paper is a side, but obviously France got a home advantage, and it seems to work like that. A lot of winners in the past have had that home advantage. Home advantage is definitely key. Uh, Germany are missing a few players as well. Gomez has done a hamstring, so he's out, and um, I think there might be a couple more suspensions, injuries affecting them. The French probably a bit better shape going yeah. into the game. I think that yellow car has got to change. It's, it's got to change. Yeah, it's oh, so, too many suspensions. Blake made a good point saying if imagine Wales and Portugal played each other, but Bale and Ronaldo weren't actually allowed to play because of the yellow cards, that would ruin the whole semi final for that game. The two massive headline players for Real Madrid yeah. coming against each other. Imagine if, if they wouldn't be allowed to play. I did see a really interesting suggestion that somebody had made on um, some website. Um, their suggestion was if you got the two yellow cards, instead of getting suspended, you had to start the game on the bench. And if the team then wanted to bring you on, they could bring you on after like a minute, but you'd be using one of your substitutions. It's a nice idea. I mean, it makes sense. Because it, it's, it's an advantage of having the player on the bench, but then obviously you lose a sub. So there, there is still a bit of a punishment there, mm, yeah. but at least you can still bring them on. Yeah, it's like half the punishment, isn't it? So yeah. it's an interesting concept. The, um, yeah, the, Seems like the whole two yellow cards just goes too far deep yeah. into the tournament. Yeah, it needs yeah, to get yeah. wiped out sooner. Yeah. Um, especially with the extra knockout round that they've added into the Euros as well. So it's pretty yeah. harsh, really. It is. Uh, it's around just here. like every time you see a player on a yellow card, just reminds me of Gazza, uh, Italia 90, giving the old tears right. and stuff, and Gary Lineker and all that Crying. kind of good stuff. But if you haven't seen that, make sure you YouTube that. Gazza, Gazza crying in the semi finals of the uh, World Cup is a good one from Italia 90. Exactly right. And it's probably the same around here as well because he's well, pissing yes. out. Just yeah. Morning, yeah. Or Rambo. All right, so where's our list? We've got a couple of other things to talk about. Pitch Dark Pack. So that's just come out. Um, Cam has done an unboxing of the Superflies. That will be um, uploading pretty much tonight. So it's the next video to follow on the channel from this one. Um, we've also got the Phantoms and the Vapors already. And then we'll follow up with the rest of the pack when we can. But yeah, the unboxing will come out. So you guys have seen the pictures. Sweet. Yeah, Pitch Dark Pack. Nice. Yeah, real so, nice. So these are the launch editions of the Mercurial range. And it's got that half-half design. Not many people were a big fan of that. But the 
new pitch dark packs, pretty much all black with a touch of the pop of colour. It's a really, really nice design. It's definitely my favourite. So you like the Mercurial so out of the pitch dark packs? So, so, yeah. Well, I've just gone for the finish recently of the Spark Brilliance packs. That's all vault with a little bit of black on there. But in the pitch dark pack, they're all black with a little bit of vault, so it kind of reverses the colourway. I think I might even get myself that pair. Oh, okay. I think I'll be there. Well, I'm, I'm holding out. I'm waiting for the Obras when they drop the Obra 2. Um, I think the pitch dark pack of the Obras is, is definitely going to be the pair of boots that I get more out of that pack. Mm -hmm. Guys, in the comments below, let us know which is your favourite in the pitch dark pack, which one's um, of interest to you as such. Um, and then the last thing to do, I suppose, is to get this box out and have a look at what arrived. Um, took a little while to get here. It didn't have um, an address. It had like the road, but not the, the house number. So. Lucky um, oh, no. No, I'm in, I'm in. Um, so yeah, we haven't, I've seen pictures of these, but I haven't actually seen them. Thanks to BR Customs for putting these together for us. Um, it is what were a pair of Nike ID, um, Nike ID boots. They started off um, completely white, um, white laces, white everything. Um, but now, pretty fresh. Here they are, let's just pull them out of the box. These are football boots, Stock UK branded boots. They are the, um, the Nike Velocities, and all the Veloc, depending on how you want to say it. Let's put the logo on it. What do you guys think? Pretty yeah, good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good cool. Job. Done a really good job. Especially on that logo there. Look at it. It's there. very intricate. That's what these take a really nice time. design. It's actually quite nice. It's like the clash pack of the uh, 2012 Euros. Yeah, totally. So that was a bit of the inspiration, really, with these was. Um, the whole clash back. I'm just going to bring these real close so you guys can see them. It's pretty cool, eh? So that's um, custom football boots. Yeah, you can boots. Put, it, put it on the wall like that. Nice touch with the orange thing. laces in here as well. Mm. We may well do a video on how you can um, make your own custom boots coming up soon. If that's something you guys are interested in, then let us know in the comments and um, we'll certainly consider doing that. Um, these have come out real nice. Still got the Nike Squish and all that kind of good stuff going on. Um, but you can also see our logo on them. UK 10.5. <laughs> there you go. Too big. Could you wear these in a match? In a match? Should you wear them in a match? Um, I don't know. I think these ones are just going to stay on the shelf. Really, they look pretty sweet. Yeah. There's something to, something else to put on the wall as well. There's play button. Mm -hmm. Exactly right. Up here somewhere. Get it loaded up. Put those on the wall. Yep. Sweet. All right, guys. Well, stay tuned to the channel. We've got a whole bunch more content coming out, especially the um, the pitch dark stuff from Nike. And then next week there's going to be a Adidas release, so um, look out for that too. And um, anything you guys are interested in, any questions you have for us, make sure you um, let us know, and we'll try and cover it in one of these vlogs if we can. Um, apart from that, guys, go throw your boots on, go enjoy your football. Cheers, guys.